Hello, I'm Helen from Journal with Purpose and welcome to my latest YouTube video. Today I'm going to do some journaling in my Traveller's Notebook insert and I thought I would do a tutorial from my second book, Layout Ideas 101, because I haven't actually shared anything from in here for a while. So I was having a look through some of the pages and I still look through this now if I'm feeling a bit short on creative ideas. So I'm going to use this layout number 45, which was off page 59. So I'm going to use some of those elements, but I also want to just change things around a little bit. That's always my hope with this book is that you'll find some elements you like and maybe combine pages or just pick out little elements for your own journal. And also behind the layouts, there's always writing prompts in each chapter of this book. So again, if you're looking for ideas for things to write about, I hope you find this helpful. So this has got what's going on in the world around you, what you spend lots of time thinking about, how many of your limitations are real or are they self-imposed? What letter would you like to send to yourself as a child? So I always tried to make sure that there was plenty of things there to just get you thinking. And again, you don't need to work from the actual specific prompts. You could decide to just pick out a small element that gives you a new idea of something that you'd like to document. And with all of my journal pages, I always like to put down some creative elements first. So I thought I'd share with you, I have something which is kind of similar to morning pages. It's my free flow journal. And even in here, I just cut out images. These are all from London Gifties tapes. So I've got something to work around. It just makes the pages feel more inviting to me. And so this, sometimes I don't pick it up for months at a time. Sometimes I write in it every day for weeks. It just depends how much I've got going on in my mind that I really want to process. So I'm going to be using a plain Traveller's Company insert. And I started this one in July. I filmed, I think, quite a few of the videos from this for YouTube, but also quite a lot um, over on Patreon as well. So I use collage, watercolour, all sorts of things in here. So I'm going to put this pencil board or underlay board underneath my pages just so that I've got hopefully a flat-ish surface to work on on this side. I've decided for my left hand page, I still want to use some tape and some stamped elements and a quote, but I want to add a little bit of stenciling to the background. So I'm going to use this stencil from the Tim Holtz collection. I'm going to use some Distress Ink in Vintage Photo, which is one of my absolute favourites. And then I've got this ink blending tool and I'm just going to pop this ink on the background. And it wouldn't really matter what stencil I was using. I'm going to be writing or adding extra decorations over a lot of it anyway. Some of my stencils I use for creating kind of main focal points on my pages, but other times I really do just like having something on the background of the page. The only thing I've noticed with using inks or anything else is that it does make it more difficult to write in fountain pen over the top. Um, it seems to just soak up a little bit of the ink and feather it out. So I'll probably be using a gel pen to write on top of this. So really nice and simple, but just for me already brings a little bit of interest to that background. Next, I want to add some tape down the left hand side and I've still actually got some of the tape left that I used when I wrote this book. This is classic -y tape and it's actually got a paper backing on it. And I quite like that because I'm going to be tearing it along the middle. I'll be able to keep that back of the tape just tucked in one of my little envelopes or something so that I've got it to use at a later date. 
Whereas with some of the tapes, you need to kind of use it straight away because of the fact it's sticky or put it in a sticker book. But this I'll just be able to say tuck it in an envelope or in the front of my journal cover. So I'm just going to pop that along the edge of my page and then snip off the ends. On here I did some stamping on the top right and bottom left and I'm going to follow that same idea. I've got this set of stamps, I'm fairly sure it came from London Gifties quite a long time ago now. I think it would be nice to have those elements added. So I'm going to use some black stays on ink for this. And I've mentioned before, but this black stays on ink does go through my pages. It does seem to seep through just about any paper. But I've checked what's behind on the left hand page and it's going to be fine. So I've got quite a few layers of different mediums on there. So it shouldn't cause me any problems. But I am probably going to avoid using it on the left hand page. On oh, sorry, on the right hand page here, because I don't know what I want to use on the back of it yet. So I've got that stamped down the bottom and I like running it just over the edge of the tape as well. For me, it just helps it look like it belongs a little bit, I think. OK, so that's both of my stamped elements added. And I'm now going to add my date on the top of my left hand page. And for this, I'm using a Tombow Fudonosuke brush pen with a firm nib. Next, I'm going to add a quote to the left hand page and I'm going to use one of the quotes that came from the that come from the printables that I release on Patreon every month. I think I might go for that white one. Don't put too much pressure on yourself because that's something that's relevant for me at the moment. And that one I printed on white paper. But I just want to give it a little bit of a brown edge. So I'm going to use that Distress Ink again, just around the outside. OK, I like how that's looking. So I'm going to use some Pritt Stick to glue it on my page. In the example in my book, I did some watercolour for the flower, which is something that I love doing. But this time I think I'm going to make it even easier on myself and just find an image that I want to use there instead. So I'm going to use something from inside this book, which I know I've shared before. I absolutely love it. The Botanical Art to Cut Out and Collage book. And I would like to add some splashes of colour to this page because I've kept everything else so neutral. And in fact, I really love that rose and that would seem perfect because I also did a watercolour rose on the version in my book. So I think I'm going to tear that out. And I also love this red pattern on the background. So I think I'm going to tear off a little bit of that then I tear out this rose I've got some other little neutral papers around my desk so I've just got a little collage on this right hand page so now I've got these elements I just want to decide where I want to put them I like to have some rough edges on most of my pieces of paper or if I've got a straight edge like on this one I just try and hide it behind a bigger element. 
I'm trying to decide if I want anything else. I've got, I went to a lino printing and botanical collage workshop with my mum recently. So I've got some little prints left over from that. And I thought that might just add a nice little bit of contrast up there. Yeah, I really like that. So I'm just now going to glue those into place. Before I add my journal writing, there's just a couple of things I want to do. On this, I did some dotted lines all the way around the outside to bring those two pages together. And that's something that I often like to do, especially if the pages are quite different to each other, just to bring them together really as a spread. So I'm using my black brush pen again and just add in those dotted lines all the way around. If you do have a copy of that book, by the way, and there's anything in there that you'd like me to film a tutorial for, or from the my first book with all the doodles, please do just let me know. I'm always happy to film any kinds of tutorials, just to break it down a little bit more even than is in the book. And as a final step, just to tie these in together, I'm going to use a little bit of that stencil again. And I don't want lots and lots of it. Just a little hint of it across those different collage papers and onto the background. So that it just has some elements really from there brought over onto this page so you can't see lots of it but it does just give a hint of those same browns so i'm now going to add my journal writing and for this i'm going to be using a black muji gel pen and one of the prompts in this book is what you spend lots of time thinking about and for me that can often come back to things where I've put putting too much pressure on myself overthinking things and wanting everything that I do to be kind of as good as it can be and of course things don't always work out quite how you want so that's what I'm going to be writing about. I have also just decided whilst talking that I want to add a little bit of that brown tape as well again just as another element bringing that side across onto here so now I really will add my journal writing That is my journal writing now, all complete. I'm really pleased with how those pages have come together. I think adding that writing on the top has really helped to just make it look like a complete journal spread, along with the different elements that are kind of mirrored from one side to the other. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this. As always, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's joined me over on Patreon. Thank you ever so much for watching and I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next video.